Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. I have not bought a Jasmine Beckett Griffith book in a long time, and I just adore her work. I have a number of her diamond paintings. Um, so, i seen this one. This It's been out for a while. It's not a new book. But this is her Alice in Wonderland book. So the front cover... The back cover with some images from inside. Aren't they cute? This has a really nice, heavy cardboard cover that is like a dust cover. And then the cardboard inside. So here is a picture of Jasmine Beckett Griffith. Just kind of gives you a little background on her. She does have a website, strangeling.com, which is what a lot of her girls are called. They're strangelings. So we have title page, an introduction. Okay, talks about how she came about drawing this Alice in Wonderland coloring book. And again, this paper is thick. It's like cardstock thick. <laughs> so, technically, it is single sided, but on this side, um, it has a little, uh, what do you want to say? Little story about what the picture is about. So this painting is part of my Alice in Other Lands subseries. So if it doesn't bother you, you know, covering that up, alcohol markers would work okay. I just love the big eyes. <laughs> Alice and the Bougereau princesses? I don't know. I just butchered that, I'm sure. Keeping up. They're just so adorable. Daydreaming Wonderland. Now, the thing that I wonder about this is, you know, this really pale gray background. How hard is it to color that? I mean, <laughs> we have the Cheshire Cat. Better put it away. Yes. Oh, that's cute. Cute. Oh, you can have a rocking horse, Barry. <laughs> a little dragon. Oh, so adorable. Alice and the Bosch Birds. Tea Party Treats. This would be a great one to work on for. I want to try out my pan pastels um, for portraits. And with the nice big face and, you know, it's all enclosed like this. That would maybe be a neat one to try it on. Painting the roses red. See, some of this to me would be, oh, very, very hard. Cheshire Cat Cuddle. He always looks so mean, doesn't he? Cheshire clock. <laughs> that grin of his. <laughs> Alice in a Bosch landscape. She doesn't have the big dark eyes in that one. <laughs> it doesn't look like her. Alice in the pool of tears. Oh, it's another neat one to try. White Rabbit Resurrected. Hmm. Oh, and that one too. Alice's Tea Party. See, these would be so much easier to color than the other ones with uh, all that gray detail in the background. Like this. <laughs> Alice in Fragonard's Swing. Alice in Absinthe. 
Yeah, so some are quite simple and the others are quite detailed. White Queen. How many of you have this book? And if you do, have you colored in it yet? <laughs> Red Queen. Alice and Lewis. Alice and the Bosch Monsters. Alice in a Dolly Dress. Alice in a Van Eyck Portrait. Ooh, long uh, paragraph about that one. Alice in a Da Vinci Portrait. Alice in a Dolly Dream. Oh, I can't believe how nice this paper is. Alice in a Van Gogh Nocturne. She's painting. <laughs> Must be from Starry Night. Huh? Alice in Monet's Water Lilies. A lot of artists in here. <laughs> Alice in the, and the Slithy Toves. Hmm. Alice in a Klimt dream. Alice in the Garden of Earthly Delights. That one sounds familiar. Alice with the Dormouse. Alice in the Fawn. Oh, is that cute? Well, that could be one I could tackle. <laughs> Alice through a Vermeer glass. Another big paragraph explaining this one. Alice's advice. Another simpler one. I always think I have more than one page here. Alice's prize. Alice enough for flowers. At least these flowers aren't too teeny, you know, where you could actually color them. <laughs> I mean, there's some small details, but Alice dreaming. Alice and the Queen of Hearts. We've all heard that one. Alice falling. Alice and the pig. <laughs> Alice and the mushroom. These eyes freak me out. <laughs> it's like you gotta put a pupil in there or something. Alice and Humpty Dumpty. He looks evil. <laughs> and then we have the all the faces of fairy. I know a number of these are made into diamond paintings, which I have a couple of. Then looks like we have maybe something you could make into a bookmark or something. And some more. Alice and the Mad Hatter. Of course you have to have that. Alice and the what? Las Meninas. Alice and the Starry Night. Alice and the Audubon Birds. Alice and the Frog Footman. <laughs> Alice and the Dormouse. So the pictures are just a little bit different. And that is it. That's a lot of pictures. Holy cow. It says, for more information on this or any Blue Angel publishing release, please visit our website at blueangelonline.com. So that must be the publisher. You can scan the QR code 
to see the original versions of her paintings featured in this book. Her paintings are gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, so pretty. What an artist. 104 pages on premium quality, 150 GSM paper. Yeah, 104 pages. Wow. So there you go, Jasmine Beckett Griffith book, Alice in Wonderland. As usual, I'll leave a link to this book down below in the description if this interests you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the flip through. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. I hope everybody's having a terrific day. And as always, happy coloring. Bye guys.